right, everyone. Good morning. Welcome back to the lab. I am going to do a full in-depth overview of the shop, everything outside and everything inside. I've already done this before. The first one was about two hours long. It was right before we opened to the public early last year of 2023. So we are almost exactly a year from the first time I did this. Unfortunately, that video was one of the victims that got deleted of the many, many videos on this YouTube channel when one of our ex-employees went through our YouTube and deleted almost all of our best videos ever. So let's start with the outside first. Obviously we painted everything black. That's kind of the color theme going on here is just all black and white. Once we get inside, you'll see it's all black and white as well with a little bit of uh, color mixed in, but outside completely black. We have some custom signage, the Legends Auto Boutique sign and the lab sign up at the top. Those are all custom made by Sign Pro in Connecticut. We have smaller signs like the shipping and receiving sign. And then we have some signage in the front our little monument sign that has the lab logo and then the lab auto spa logo on it. LGND was in the center. We just took it off and put the auto spa there because the auto spa wasn't here when we first opened up the building. I just built that out maybe three months ago. Um, but LGND will go again in the third spot. Flagpole that was not there when we got the property with the American flag and the lab flag as well. Custom railings, these were not here. So, I mean, I'm not gonna go in as much depth as we did in the first video because that was right after construction, but this used to be a Planet Fitness um, before we moved in here. It was a very big Planet Fitness. The building in the front was purple and, and yellow. There was no ramp here. The parking lot was trash, so the parking lot got completely redone. But let's go in. We'll talk about the side. We'll talk about that side after, but the most important stuff is what's inside. Before we go in, we have some speakers out here for our car shows and for our customers that walk in to enjoy. Um, we have two big speakers and then we have a big, big, big subwoofer in the center. We can turn these things up and you'll hear it from the street. All right, coming in the front door, you immediately see our epoxy marble floor. So this whole entire shop, the floors got redone from the front all the way to the back. It's not epoxy all the way back, it's polished concrete in the shop area and epoxy only in the showroom in the office area. But before we go back there, let's go upstairs before we do anything else. So as you can see, we have the LG&D Supply Co. store upstairs. My beautiful Chinese chandelier. Yes, that's from China. Um, most of the stuff in here is, I wouldn't say it's all from China, but there's definitely some stuff from China because there's some really cool stuff that they make. And at the end of the day, they make some really cool stuff. So I saw this, I was like, that would look perfect in between the stairway. Before, there was a really old, crusty, dusty fan up there. And I was like, that's perfect to put a nice long chandelier dropping down below. Uh, the rug uh, on, this, on these stairs was changed. It was really old, crusty, dusty, just like the fan. Crusty, dusty rug. Uh, the staircase was here, the upstairs was here. I didn't add this, but this was already here. So obviously you just painted all the walls black, all the railings black, and changed out to black rug. And then I put a retail store up here. So the goal with this store was lg &E Supply Co., if you guys aren't familiar, uh, is my brand that we give away vehicles every single month. And currently, well, the Porsche is done, but it usually says the exact giveaway that is live on that sign up there. So you can, if you would like, if you're local or passing through Connecticut, stop into the store. This is our only store that we have anywhere in the country, anywhere at all. And you can get entered in store. Actually see the clothes in person versus going online and waiting for your apparel to get shipped to you. So you can come in, meet us, see what's going on, see the vehicles being built in the back and uh, get entered in person. So it is pretty cool. Um, the vibe here was to go for a high-end brand such as Lululemon. Uh, their stores are very nice, minimalistic. Uh, Aloe, it's a new brand. Those stores are also very nice, simple, minimalistic, clean. But all of these displays, all of these racks are from China. So what I did was I drew out, this, every single space in this, in this building was drawn out by me on paper. First I would take a picture, I would print that picture out, and then I would draw on that picture 
what I want where I want it. For the displays, when I got to this, everything needs to match. I would start searching displays and I would find certain ones that would look good, but then I couldn't find something else to match it. It was also a sizing problem where I had certain places that I need to put things that needed to be the exact size that I needed them. So instead of going online, buying a bunch of different stuff that wouldn't match, I went to a manufacturer and they custom built every single piece in here for LG and D. As you can see, they kind of match the, uh, the theme going on here, black and wood, along with the real wood floors. This floor got completely redone because they had gym mat on here that was glued down. So once they ripped it up, it ripped up almost every single plank with it. So we had to replace a lot of planks here and refinish the whole entire floor. But looks beautiful now. This was not here before. This room was completely open before we started. Now this is our conference room. This is where we do our meetings. This is where we announce the winners of the giveaways and do the live calls. A lot of stuff gets done in here. Uh, uh, uh. All right, bathroom. I like to show every single little detail, so we're gonna show you every single little detail. Small bathroom, but nice little design in here. Come on. There we go. Brown walls, nice LED mirror, nice sink vanity. Got our custom LG Supply Co. Sign with all our socials on it. Of course, we have the good soap and the good lotion as well. All right, continue. Beautiful trash can. Got a water dispenser. Nice little mirror. Um, all right. Over here, we have our LG and D winter map. This is hand painted, drawn first, then painted. It's not exactly to scale, as you can see, floor is a little strange. But um, yeah, people can grab a pin out of this basket and put it where they are coming from as visitors. Obviously, we have a, a lot of Connecticut visitors and, uh-oh, one fell. We have a lot of Connecticut visitors and uh, some of them like to just put pins in random places like that one down there. So I don't know if they're all true, but nonetheless, we have a lot of visitors from random states and it is not uncommon to have people come in here and be like, hey, I'm from so-and-so state all the way across the country and they're visiting Connecticut and just made it a point to come down here and check it out. Uh, and then we also have the big pins. The big gold pins are all of our winners. They actually come in and they place those themselves and then we print out a Polaroid, put their name, the vehicle they won, where they're from, and we put it on this wall. So every single winner has a Polaroid on this wall. Nice little seating area. And then I built out a little fitting room with an LED mirror in here to track yourself out when you're trying on our gorgeous apparel. Mannequins, also from China. China. We fitted them out in some fake Jordans because I wasn't going to spend, four, those are like the real ones, like $4,000, but they look cool. So I bought some fake Jordans for these things, put some LG Neo apparel on them. They look cool sitting here. Got the nice hexagon lights. All of these hexagon lights, now that we're talking about it, both these ones, the pendants that just hang, and also the hexa grid, which we will get to in the showroom, all from the same place, get lit LED lighting. Um, they supplied every single hex fixture that you see in this building. Our front desk up here, this is not China made, this is American made, uh, very heavy duty, well made, modern front desk, custom to my specifications and you will see some more custom stuff from the same company. This is called Axis Furniture. They're based in Florida. I actually visited, or no, is it Florida? I think it's Florida. I visited their shop, I just forgot when. I don't think it's Florida, maybe it's Vegas, California? I don't know, but Axis Furniture. Um, very, very cool guys. I told them exactly what I wanted, the space I was working with, the colors that I needed, and they custom made a couple things for me. So this is one of those things. This is a two-piece desk, they just come together, and uh, looks awesome, built very well. Full cabinetry in the back for overstock and supplies. We have our rail lighting with the down lights that you can adjust directly above. Emergency stairwell, and we are going to head back downstairs. Cintas, who screws us every single month for some recurring subscription charges. Uh, we pay them every month for uh, hand sanitizer stations in this place and a few other things. But these are cool, we have like six of them in the whole place, so anywhere you go, 
Quick spritz. Ah. Ah. Before I go downstairs, I must say, uh, I'm going to give you a heads up. Sometime this year, this railing is going to be taken out. It will be glass all the way from the ceiling to the floor. And it'll be closed off. It won't be open, so you just walk up there. You will need a RFID um, key to get in. And that will no longer be the retail store. Uh, that will be a member's lounge. We are going to have a design build area up there where we have a big TV and a bunch of samples of things off of custom cars, like seats, steering wheels, um, exhaust, wheels, paint colors, wrap colors, which we do have something of that sort in the showroom, which we'll get to. But up here, we're going to have a really cool member's lounge with the design area with a bar area for you to serve yourself. I'm not going to have a bartender up here. Um, we're going to have, of course, just a bunch of seating up here. We're going to have the race simulator up here. And uh, it will be open to all of our members that pay monthly uh, for the normal membership perks. They will get this as an added perk, which I think is going to be super cool. You can come in here with your friends, show it off, have a meeting, get some work done for school uh, or work for your business, whatever it is. But it's going to be somewhere that members can just come in, relax, hang out, come in late on a Friday and just make a drink for your friends, whatever you want to do. But this will be the member's lounge eventually. Reason being is that we don't get a lot of foot traffic for the lg &D store because we're not on a main road. We're on a dead end. So there's really no way that people would just see and be like, oh, let me stop in there quick. You need to physically go out of your way to come here. And why really have a store when it's just sitting here half the time not being used, whereas at the events, there's traffic. We have, you know, 500 people inside the building and then we'll have 80 people upstairs, which then it's worth it. But that's only, let's say, 10 times a year, right? Depending on how many events we do. So it's not worth it because it's not being used all the time. Neither will the members lounge. We're not going to have 50 members up here at a time. But the members lounge, I think, is a lot more valuable than having a retail store that just sits here when people could just go online and order. So. The, uh, the in-person shopping isn't a necessity for lg and I thought it would be a cool thing to do, but eventually, later this year, this will be a member's lounge, a super, super cool lounge, and all of these displays, that front desk, that cabinetry will all be for sale at some point. So if you guys uh, are looking to start a retail store of any type, you might have your stock right here of displays. All right, three offices in the front, not gonna show you. Media, marketing, Accounting. Won't go in there because when we first started the shop, um, those were empty. Now people work in there, obviously, so not going to intrude. Showroom. Like I said, white marble epoxy, the whole entire shop. The Range Rover rental is up here. The Ferrari 458 build is up here. That thing just sits up here and, and looks pretty for the most part. Our TV shows our rentals and how much you can rent them for. Uh, members, again, I haven't said it yet this video, but members get 20% off all the time. If you are a platinum member, you get a free rental day every single month with any of the cars. If you're a regular black card member, you get a rental day every three months that you're a member. So it's pretty cool. Instead of paying $1,000 for the Huracan, you could be paying five or sorry, $400 a month and using that car once a month, plus getting free details unlimited. However many times you want to stop in, you'll get that many details a month. Now, if you can make it down here seven times a week, that's on you. But unlimited details if you're a Platinum member. Okay. Displays down here on the wall, also from China, just like above, same exact manufacturer, except I told them to make them white marble and black instead of wood in black. So it's not too much to discuss here. Obviously, we have an LED lit display, another LED lit display for our detail products, and then we have one more display for our accessories through the lab. Plate frames, power washer, wands, umbrellas, foam cannons, rock lights. Yeah, some cool stuff. All right, just like upstairs, we have a display that allows you to browse the website, browse our past builds, browse a few more things. Who's this? <laughs> Front desk. So, Again, Axis Furniture, just like this, the, uh, the front desk upstairs, Axis Furniture had this one in stock. Actually, no, this wasn't in stock. They had something very similar in stock, and I said I wanted it a little bit wider. White marble, white for the most part, with a little bit of white marble, and then we have the nice LED. We could change the color of that LED. Lab sign, 
that is a 3D sign, individual letters that we had to mount up to plexiglass to get it to actually sit and mount. And um, that's from China as well. China made some really cool stuff. China also made that sign up there. Also individual letters. While we're over here, we'll talk about the, uh, the wall. This is a Venetian plaster. It might look like wallpaper, but nope. This is all Venetian plaster, nice and smoothed out. Speakers in the ceiling, everywhere in the shop, just like outside, and it's all connected to the same sound system. Every single one of these hexagon lights in here, like I said, is from Get Lit LED Lighting, and they mean a certain structure. So this one, this one is serotonin, dopamine. That one, that big one's titanium, I believe. I don't remember which one that is. We used to have these little signs on that wall, and then we did the Venetian plaster after everything was already done, so they came down, and I didn't want to put them back up. But yeah, every single one of these structures here means something. Um, I will tell you right now that there's one right behind this wall that means THC. Okay, so continuing. Uh, Venetian plaster wall, we have the custom little back wall to the front desk, which we left some space so it's not completely closed off and you don't feel claustrophobic. Uh, it is wood slat paneling on this side. On the other side, it is grass, fake grass. Rolex clocks everywhere in the shop. You'll see them in the bathroom, in the shop, in the showroom, of course, in my office. And then we get into the display area with all the, uh, the parts. We have our tint options, ceramic coating display, book of all the fabrics we can get, ceramic coating display. Some wheels that we have for sale, some wheels that are just displays, sub box displays for trucks and SUVs. And then of course, we have our wall of color. This is all of our different finishes that we can do. That's not all the colors we can do, but it's different finishes, showing you the difference between matte finish, satin finish, and gloss finish. Of course, for wrap, this is all, this was crazy to make, it took quite a while. But basically, we got samples of wrap. We went online and chose all the different wrap samples that we wanted. And then I bought magnet. These are all held on by magnets. Okay. So I bought mag I bought magnet magnetic flat strips. They were big rectangles, like maybe four by six. Put a piece of wrap on it, cut it to this size with a, one of those cutters. And then I took the sticker off of the vinyl and I put it on the back of the magnet. And this is a magnetic glass board, whiteboard, that we flipped over so that we have the magnetic part on the back. And then we just cut all these wrap pieces, put them on the magnet strips like I told you. And now we have a, a nice wall of wrap samples that you can peel off and put it back. Powder coat samples, these are just how they come, but we used this um, paneling directly from the source uh, just put it in line, same as those ones. Just put it in line with a bunch of pegs and just lined up all of our powder coat samples. Our wheel display over here, these are custom roller displays. You wouldn't even really know. But what, wheel bearing, wheel bearing uh, displays so you can spin these things and see what they look like spinning. It's, it's really, it's cool. They were expensive, but I don't really think it's worth it at the end of the day. Uh, Vossen is our favorite wheels to put on cars, and that is what we have here. All right, let's go back. So, we're getting into the nitty gritty here. This is where you start seeing a lot of the, uh, the effort really come to life. So we have our custom spark cooler. This is for our energy drink brand that uh, you can come in, try it out, and then you can buy cases on Amazon. We sell these on Amazon, or you can buy them up in the store upstairs. We have a bunch of cases for sale. Beverage station, coffee. We have our custom lab cups. Everything's branded in here, every single thing. Lab cups, lab napkins. You clean up nice. Yep. Um, so every single thing in here was paid attention to. There's a lot of detail in here. Everything down to these little displays of snacks were bought on Amazon. There's a lot of stuff that we got off Amazon. Um, there's a lot of stuff that we got from China. There's a lot of stuff that we got locally, domestically. That's good. Okay. 
Anyways, beverage station. Um, we did have a dirt bike up there. We just gave the dirt bike away. It might actually still be in the back, but it needed to get shipped out. Right now we have a cause figure up there, but plenty of space to put some type of display up there eventually. I don't know what else I'll put up there, but I will put something new up there. The fake grass, like I was talking about, you will see a lot of that throughout the shop. Um, this little structure right here means caffeine, and then we have caffeine spelled out, of course, in an LED sign. Uh, this beverage station cabinetry was also made by Axis Furniture, same people that did the front desk here and the front desk upstairs. And then we have our custom lab water bottles for our customers, complimentary, of course. Porsche seats, just picked these up a few months ago. Um, these are directly from Porsche. And then we have our, not Porsche seats over here, these are from China, these are LG and D versions of the Porsche ones, which I think are a little bit cooler. They have the waffle knit um, leather on the top, and they're a little bit bigger than the Porsche ones, but somehow people will still think those are worth more when they're probably made by the same exact person. Uh, the grass wall behind here. You will see LED signs throughout the shop that say things. Um, I spent a lot of time thinking about sayings that I can put in the shop. Happiness is expensive here. Right there we have good things come to those who wait. Another structure right here, like I said, Every single one of them means something. This one is THC. These, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, nope. one, two, three, four, five. Five little LED pendants right here from Wayfair. Not China. More of the hex lights that I told you, I got all of them from Get Lit LED Lighting. If you'll look at all of the emergency lights and emergency signs, they all match. So all my emergency lights are those mini little black ones right there. All of our emergency signs, or sorry, exit signs are all green. You will see those throughout the shop as well. Uh, we have some art laying around the shop. I got my little Ferrari key in a case. This is from a beautiful craftsmanship artist that I found on TikTok. I saw a video and uh, his name's Nick Hernandez. His Instagram's Nick H Artist. And he makes some really, really cool 3D uh, sculptures. And this is one of them, super expensive, but Worth it in my opinion, art is priceless, and I wanted to have one of those pieces in here. I also have one in my office. Yeah, that, and then we have some art from Petrol Vibes, I believe it was. The Nürburgring, this is all CNC'd, and uh, it, it's just cool. I've been to the Nürburgring a few times, I've driven it a few times, so I was like, ah, that'd be cool to put up here. So this wasn't here before, I just put this up recently. Um, I had a lot of instances where my door was open, I keep it propped open sometimes, and people would walk by here, and they'd be like, oh, what's in there? And they wouldn't see me at my desk. And they'd pop their head in, and I'm like, right there. And I'm like, and they're like, so. I put that there, and then I put the private sign. So hopefully when it is propped open, and there's somebody that's from the general public in here, they don't just walk in. But um, yeah, let's go. So. I still need to fix this. But like I said, grass everywhere in here. So full grass wall, um, all the way down to the door. And my custom wall clock that uh, a few of the joints fell, those are fake joints of course, but a few of them fell off because that thing was sitting here during construction getting moved left and right. Because when we were doing the construction, everything was getting moved um, from place to place because we were doing the floors. And they would be like, we need to do the floors here. And I'd be like, wow, we have like, a 20 by 30 rectangle of 10 foot high stuff that we need to move to another spot. So we were moving stuff back and forth. Anyways, joint clock, a think sign, and I like to think of it as it's think a clock. Okay, next we have our massive desk. This is also made by uh, Axis Furniture, just like the front desk, the beverage station. As you can see, we have the wood slat paneling in the bottom, but it's a little bit of a different color than upstairs. This is a more of an oaky color and the rest of it's just all black. This is like 140 inches wide. Custom cabinetry in the back of it as well. That's also from Axis Furniture. We have two LED light bars going up and down on both sides. Those are from Wayfair. Um, all of the six inch lighting that you see on the ceilings in this shop are all from Amazon. They come in like packs of 12. They're black, they are dimmable, and uh, you can select the color setting. They're all on 3000K setting. Uh, that paneling that you see inside of the skylights there, 
that is uh, cut to size. Once you buy it, you can just glue them on and cut them to size, obviously, and that is in another location that I'll show you in a second. All right, my own little beverage station that I bought off Wayfair. I don't know what this structure means or is, but I put it together. I thought that was cool. Nano leaf, just something to put. My standing desk and my treadmill that I do not use whatsoever. Huge couch, this one's from Wayfair. Um, this TV entertainment stand is uh, from Wayfair as well. Obviously big TV, big concrete coffee table. We have a shipping container side table right here. And then this piece of art is actually from a guy called Armin Flossdorf, I believe. And I met him in Italy and uh, I went into a hotel during the F1 race that was going on in Milan. And he was painting this in person when I walked in the hotel and he had a bunch of other samples, display pieces in the, uh, the lobby of the hotel. And I was like, hey, that's sick. Would you ever consider selling them? And he was like, oh, I actually sell these every single time I go to an F1 race. So this was hand painted by Armin. This is not a picture. You could actually feel it, but super expensive. It got shipped to me, rolled up, and then I had to put it back together. It took a while to get it, but super, super cool. I don't even know why I'm showing my bathroom. This is kind of private, but look at my bathroom. Okay. Another piece by Nick Hernandez. Like I told you, I had one more piece. That is the other piece. My little floating astronaut. My $100 bill. Pretty cool. Of course, LED mirror cool floating vanity, and then I always have my lotion and my good soaps everywhere. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. All right, continuing on. Jess's office, we're not gonna go in there, but you will see as we walk through here, Ryan just got in, so I'm not gonna bother him, but uh, all of the desks, that's the only desk like that, but every single one of these five offices right here, which used to be uh, tanning rooms, um, they all have the same exact desk, so they're identical. I'm gonna turn on the lights. All the trash cans, all from the same place. You will see these trash cans all the way throughout the shop. Everything uh, matches in this place. We have many of everything so that it all flows throughout the whole entire shop. Who's back there? Oh God, now I gotta deal with. The goal was to get here early enough that I don't see people during this video. Well, I guess I got some company now. All right. We're probably at 30 minutes already. It's impossible to do this quick. Okay, all of these are from Etsy. We have these on the front doors as well. Couch. This is a Rove Concepts couch. Relatively expensive. Our little side tables here. Wayfair. These chairs. Don't remember, it wasn't Wayfair. Uh, same thing with those chairs. Don't remember, it wasn't Wayfair. These tables, Walmart, but they actually sell these on Wayfair as well. Got some custom cushions, custom fit. Remember that paneling I told you in the skylights in my office? That is also back here. And then this structure was still here when we bought the building. That fireplace was still there. This structure was there, and this structure was here. So we didn't really add too much here. Um, the only thing that we did was modify it. We demoed a lot of stuff in here, including in the back shop area. Not too, too much was demoed in here besides um, in that area right there and in my office a lot of demolition happened to take down walls But for the most part this seating area was here and it used to be seats way back in the day when it was a gym and uh, The fireplace was there. We changed out the old style fireplace with a new propane style fireplace These LED pendants are from Wayfair Super cool again. Not everything China is bad. It makes some cool stuff We have stanchions wall-mounted stanchions and the stanchions in the showroom that are all branded the lab. Of course, everything custom ordered takes a lot of time, but you get a cool, really, a really cool end product. Okay. Custom table built by a friend of mine. This has the lab CNC'd out in all of the brackets. You can literally see the logo right here on every single bracket. So this is fully custom made, super heavy table. It's like an infinity table. You can't see where the, uh, the actual brace ends, which is the coolest part about it. And then custom tinted glass top. All right, so I'm gonna show you one office because all five of these are exactly the same. But again, this used to be a tanning um, salon. Every single one of these, not tanning salon, tanning room, right? So when I got here, 
there were no doors. They were just open cubbies that weren't being used at all because after it was a gym, it was pretty much just vacant for a long time. So there was nothing in these. They were just cubbies. And I was like, perfect area to make some offices. I needed to get these glass doors. These glass doors, surprisingly, are from Wayfair. So um, got them custom sized and had to make some of these openings a little bit smaller to fit the sizing because they didn't make the sizing of the doors exactly to the opening that was existing anyways. So this is John's office, the main office, but every single one of these offices have this desk, this exact desk. Those are from homeary.com, okay? Took a while to get them. So that's the thing, when you're doing something like this, a build out like this, you need to be proactive. Those took three months to come in. So I ordered them at the very, very beginning of the construction because by the time that the construction was finishing and it was time to move furniture around, those were just about landing. So perfect timing. Um, we have a sign like that in every single office. We have a light structure like that, but they have a different design in every single office. And then we have a petrol vibes car in every single office. Different car in every office, different word in every office of the sign. And then we have a different structure in every office. So you will see it as we walk by. One plant in every office, one plant in front of every office. See, so this one's Focus, this one's Mindset, that's a McLaren, this one's a Bugatti, and then this structure is completely different from that structure. Morn. All right. Again, same thing all the way down. Morning, Fletchy. Morning, Chief. How you doing? Good boy. What is that? Road bike. <clears throat> We're using it as a prop today. Nice. Continuing on. Um, while we're here, we're looking at the fire um, indicator. That is a good indicator that the whole entire fire alarm system got redone in here. The town made me do it. Um, that whole fire alarm system cost me about $150,000. Um, crazy, crazy system. Our carbon emissions system, these are sensors that sense gas. If there's too much gas build up in the building, the alarm system will go off and it'll open up the vents in the shop because Remember, this is the entrance to the shop that's right behind you guys right now. This is a completely open layout, whereas normally when you go into a shop, their shop area is closed off and usually the town requires that. The only way that I was able to get around that is by having a fire rated separation. And I was arguing the fact that, hey, you only need a fire rated separation for the case of a fire. So if there's a fire to happen, that's when you need the fire rated separation. And that's why I got big, big, big custom fire rated garage um, overhead doors. These things roll up. You can kind of see them right here. But if the fire alarm goes off, those immediately close. The fire alarm has gone off a couple times for false alarms. One of the times was uh, the 458 turned on and it was blowing a bunch of oil smoke out. Fire alarm turned on. Super, super loud and those shut and the only way to get them back open is by getting a ladder, climbing to the top and re-putting on the chain link. So we'll get to that in a second, but let's continue talking about right here. So we have the platform that was already here. This was a exercise platform. They had a bunch of like treadmills and elliptical machines on here and we kept it obviously. The railings were here as well. Um, the only reason that I kept it was because I wanted to kind of have that drive in from the shop and now this is our display area but we also will get some work done on here as well from time to time it's not our main work area but uh if we are out of space in the shop we will bring something in here to take it apart but we did have to raise this up a little bit so we had to take the railing off bring this wall up just a tad because it wasn't to code the railing height from the ground here wasn't to code um all right let's go over here bathroom this is one of the coolest parts of the whole building okay so this walkway was here. Why? Because this was the locker room originally when it was Planet Fitness. Uh, this was the either ladies or men's locker room, but my office was the other side of the locker room. So when I came in here, Planet Fitness had gutted the locker room completely, taken all the lockers out. It was all tile in there. All the tile was taken out. All the plumbing was taken out. It was a mess, absolute mess. The walls were down. It was just, it looked like they set off a bomb in there. So the walkway was still here though, and I liked it. And I was like, let's, let's do something about that. So kept the walkway, put an LED strip all the way around it. One color on this side, another color on this side. And then we have a different epoxy coloring in here. This is black and bronze, black and gold. Nice little ottoman in the center, which should be centered. 
Two cool canvases with down lights on them. LED light going all the way around the perimeter. Two LED fixtures. Big, big, big LED mirror so that you can get your nice pictures in here. Two floating sinks. Our floating faucets. Custom lab napkins. Gold foil. Trash cans on both sides. Two hand dryers. Custom sign saying let that shit go. I kind of got to let that shit go right now, but we're going to hold it off. Rolex clock, like I said. Our little lollipop art sculpture. And then, again, guys, another grass wall with more wood paneling, keeping that, uh, that design flowing throughout the shop. And then every single one of our, since this is a unisex bathroom, every single one of our stalls here are completely closed off from top to bottom, and you can lock them so that you don't see, you don't run into a woman or a guy or any in between um, in here unless they're out here. Okay? So completely closed off. We have toilet, toilet, urinal only, and then we have the handicapped over here which was required by code with its own sink. And of course, had to match everything. We got the black rails. This is wallpaper in here. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, continuing. All right, shop area. But first, that thing. I bought that off a guy from TikTok. Took forever to get. Wouldn't buy it again. And I got damage in shipping. But pretty cool. It's an actual Porsche steering wheel with literally just paint splattered all over it. And I paid way too much money for it, but still pretty cool. All right, back here. Now you can see our fire rated doors. These things are, oh, that one is absolutely massive. Um, these two combined were a total of $70,000 not installed. Of course, to install these, we had to uh, build out the header with an LDL, LVL, LDL. I don't know too much about that stuff, but with a really, really big wood beam to hold and support that much weight up there. So these things close completely. Rolex clock, old Panda Daytona. We're almost done, guys. Not with this, with the, with the overview, almost. Just want you guys to see the, uh, the sticker that we put on this side. That was a rather large and uh, difficult install because of all the in and out on the door. The measurements had to be precise to get that thing to be accurate um, width and height of the actual logo. Okay. All right, so our showcase area. When I first, first finished the shop, um, I had done white and black paneling here with the race deck panels. These are race deck. You can buy these online, make your own design online with coloring and do whatever you want. You'll see in the wash bay, I did do a really cool design. But here I did white and black and it was almost, it looked too checkered, it looked like an old diner. So I decided to just do all black with this cool, almost wood grain type um, border perimeter. So this thing could hold a lot of weight. There's a, a ton of wood trusses underneath here, but it used to hold, I don't know, a lot of uh, equipment. And we've had some pretty heavy trucks on here. But again, this is the spot that we do the Overview, uh, not the overviews, the reveals for the giveaways, reveals for customers when they get a build done, and uh, also we'll work on vehicles if we are crowded in the shop itself. Over here we have the lighting area. And again, this space right here with the bench on the other side was already here. This is the original gym matting that was here. And this is the handicapped walkway that again we kept as well. All right, that's all to see over here. Coming into the shop. We have six Ben Pack lifts, three 10,000, three 12,000. So the 10,000 are mainly meant for cars, but they could also handle trucks, and the 12,000 are pretty much specifically for trucks. These lev racks over here, we have an equal amount of them to split in between each lift. So two technicians will use or share one lev rack. That thing is eight feet long, and it has three separate levels. Um, they were custom made to our specifications, my specifications. And um, this is, I did a lot of work to make this place look really, really clean and organized. We have up lighting above the toolboxes that always point up, those stay on all the time. 
Obviously, all the technicians have their own toolboxes, but I provided, um, honestly, I can't even forget the name of this, but they are on a rack that allows them to slide left and right. What is the name of this? Yeah, no, not the, pe the, the specific name. I can't think of the name. But they allow you to custom choose your color of accessories. And I've just pretty much bought a ton of accessories for every technician that I hire, whether immediately when I opened up or down the line, to pick the accessories that they want and lay it out how they want. So if somebody had a larger toolbox or wanted to place it differently or something moves down the line, we can move this left or right on the rack. Yeah, something's away. You get the point. So every single technician station has those pegboards. Every single technician or bay has a air reel and a electrical reel. They're all mounted perfectly in my opinion. Again, every single technician bay has the pegboard, has the lev rack, has the lights underneath the lev rack. <clears throat> Now we have our switch that turns on all the lights. All right, now that while we're over here, let's talk about the wheel and tire area. All right, Hunter Road Force Balancer, Hunter Tire Mounting Station, and then we have a massive Ingersoll that is incredibly quiet air compressor. This thing is amazing. Uh, we have a little sink. Um, we have our waste oil tank, obviously, flammable cabinet and our cabinet that has a bunch of um, what's it called little bins bin cabinet and then we got some lights back here I like the vibe that these things set off again like I said trash cans everywhere they all look the same all right we got a Ben pack three tier parking lift this thing is for vehicles that will stay for a long time um, that thing can it's pretty cool eventually we will have a bunch more in a separate building as car storage and inventory storage. But uh, this is our only one for now. Fits nicely in the corner. We have our forklift parking in, the cent in this designated spot that I lined out with tape. Our, hold on. Our floor scrubber is supposed to go over here. Yeah, I'll just text the guys. All the beams wrapped in grass fake grass. Um, subwoofers in the center beam, those massive things hanging over there, and speakers on the other outside beams. And then we have these little red lights that indicate that our carbon emissions alarm is going off. Not too, too much to talk about in this area, but we have our wrap area, our PPF area, our receiving area of all parts, tires, and more. Our tire rack that's our only tire rack in the whole place that is pretty much only for tires that are being used on builds that are currently going on in the shop and then we have a bunch of these really nice fancy black uh, bumper racks that were also everything's expensive I'm not even gonna say expensive anymore all right coming back here this was originally here uh, but it came out all the way that door was not there that was glass and this structure this little room back here came out all the way to about where the door starts we demoed it and we brought it back kept the upstairs that i already had it had a staircase that went pretty far this way and we needed space to drive in so what we did was we put a spiral staircase to save on space put in these nice glass windows with sheet metal framing and then led light bars on both sides for that cool ambient effect actual shipping container door with a massive, massive, super expensive um, sliding rail that's meant to look like a, a literal railroad track rail. Um, pretty cool. Completely custom. Parts counter. Little, that's not an actual Louis Vuitton piece, but that is a Louis Vuitton surfboard that I just recently got. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is where Sam Sam's offices, he has a nice little office. Break room back here. We got our parts room back here, which is just for parts that are being used for builds. And then in the back here. Um, so that sign's currently not working, but that was also a China sign. 
Uh, more hex lights from Get Lit LED Lighting. Also in the ceiling here. That is, uh, that was kind of a pain to get mounted because I wanted them to be floating. And um, in order for them to be floating, we needed to make this big wood frame that hung and then put the lights to them. So pretty uh, difficult to do, but looks cool in the end. It hangs a little bit lower towards the back than the front so that when you're outside and you're looking at it from outside, you can see the structure versus just seeing it flat. You can actually see the structure of the hexagrids. Uh, flooring in here, race deck as well. If you remember, I said uh, you can do some really cool designs. I decided to do almost like a, um, a sound bar design. So we have like these, it looks almost like a graph, right? On both sides and it's completely randomized. So there's, it's pretty cool. We have our Meguiar's soap mixer, vacuum, power washer, and everything runs out of this closet. Detailing room, um, this is where we keep all of our supplies for the detailing, ceramic coatings, um, soaps, everything. If he needs to buff something small, he'll do it in here. I built him a nice little bathroom back here. And then we have our washer and dryer for all the towels and stuff in here as well. All right, the final room back here. This is our PPF cutting room, our tint cutting room. We have the plotter back there. This is where the guys will come back to cut all the PPF in the tent and get it ready for the jobs. All right, and then upstairs, I'm not even gonna go up there, but that is storage. All right, so finally, we're gonna end it out here. I'm not gonna go more into detail. I can go into about another three hours of detail if I really wanted to, but we're gonna end it here. So we're outside of our parts department. You can see our auto spa door. It has the decal on it. Um, so we have the whole entire building here and there are different companies in that building and that building but eventually the goal is here to have I'm not going to call it legend land but that is kind of the goal is to have it be a legend land uh, in the back there there's a fenced in area that's being currently occupied by someone that sells pipes um, that will eventually along with these two buildings be ours and this one will be paint powder coat fabrication alignment in the whole entire building that front one will be those three tier parking lifts lined up on the left and the right side, long ways. And that will be car storage and maybe even a restaurant. We don't know exactly, I don't know. There is no one else involved in this. I am single member, sole proprietor, uh, whatever you wanna call it. I have no partners, I have no investors, but eventually the goal is to buy the whole entire property and make it somewhat of a legend land. Um, really big, big, big aspirations, big goals and uh, this is part one. Um, the rest of it is soon to come. So hope you guys enjoyed the shorter version of the overview, but there's, there's stuff that's gonna change. Like I said, there's a member's allowance coming. Uh, we just built the auto spot three months ago. That wasn't done when the shop was first done, so it wasn't in the first overview at all. And I wish the auto spot sign was working to show you, but I mean, it is what it is. Anyways, I gotta get to work. It's nine o'clock, people are starting to show up and uh, people start bothering me as soon as it turns nine o'clock. I just get texts up the ass. So I gotta go to work. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you subscribe. If you don't, no hard feelings. I'll see you next video.